I'm making this up as I go, basically. Alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is episode 11 of the French the Frankenwagon build. And I'm going to make this a four day episode because I have uh, two days off from work. I'm going to use this four day weekend to do the body swap or the chassis swap or whichever one you want to call it. Or at least I'm going to get the body off of the old VW chassis. At least get it hovering over this chassis inside the garage here, this Miata. Alright, day one, let's get to it. So what I gotta do first, before I even get started on tearing, tearing off that body out there, is I want to get this prepped a little bit first. You know, while it, I still have a little better access to everything here. And so I'm gonna patch up these holes here with some 22 gauge steel. It's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be a patchwork of, 20, you know, really thin sheet metal. This here is really thin. This here is a lot thicker. So it's, there's different thicknesses to work with. It's gonna be pretty tricky. Um, it's gonna be practice for welding, really. No one's gonna be able to see this once everything is put together, but. I just want to get it done, get out of the way, so let's get started. side to do. I'm going to be doing that all night, I guess. But it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I'm kind of proud of it. I got pretty good at welding it in, and what I would do was I would weld in one side, and then I would use the hammer to bend it into position. So, <laughs> um, no one's going to be able to see it, because the fender go about right here and the, the A column will be right here so this will be all hidden anyways and obviously we'll, of course we'll be under the cowl and um, I'll put on a bunch of seam sealer and some paint make sure it doesn't rust alright let's do the other side now It is day two and I've got about as far as I care to go putting in these uh, patches here and God I hope that I uh, measured correctly. If I didn't then I'm just going to get a hammer and make it fit. I'm going to start taking body parts off of the VW and let's do it. Okay this fender is all the way unscrewed, at least I think I found all the screws for it. Ah, there's one more bolt. Always one more bolt. I gotta take the bumper off first. Let's get that off. So, let's do that first. Second one, also broken. Two out of two broken, let's see what the other two look like. All right, the third one came out actually, so I'm on the last one. I put this seat here to catch it, so it go crashing to the ground. Let's see what happens. Ow! Ow, that hurt.
that one broke. So three out of four broke. Woo! Uh-oh. There's one more screw holding it in. Okay, I need to open this door and get to the, the screw right there. Ooh, crap. Go. All right, this is what makes me nervous. This is the old seal. Oops, I'm bleeding. This is the old seal, and man, I just bet you anything there's gonna be rust below this. And, I mean, it makes me nervous. That is a great sign. That is awesome. I'm so glad there's not rust all right here. That'd be really hard to replace. Check out, this is what the, the bumper was bolted to. Yeah. Yeah, that's why the bolts broke. That's for sure. Look at that. That's what it was bolted to, the bumper. Okay, now I'm trying to get this other fender off. I have all the bolts off, it won't come off, but if you look closely, right there is a rivet holding it on, and I'm gonna drill that out, but I couldn't see it because how rusty and tiny it is, and it was literally covered in mud and fiberglass. That's where the fiberglass was. So I'll have to drill it out, I guess. Okay, to get these doors off, um, the hinges have uh, Phillips head bits, and that's pretty easy to strip. So I'm gonna have to use, I'm gonna have to use this thing here, and you hit the back of it with a hammer right there, and um, it twists once you do that. And then I'll then I'll switch to a regular screwdriver. Hopefully that works. Of course I put PB blaster over. I put PB blaster over everything. Actually, it smells like PB blaster. Like it's pretty horrendous in here. Sledgehammer. All right, it's working. Got it. All right, now the bottom ones are stuck, so I'm gonna have to get some heat on it. I finally got it, took some heat here, as well as some heavy duty pounding. Alright, here we go, here goes nothing I guess. This is the other door, and there's only one snug bolt holding this whole door up, because this is completely rusted off. And um, up here, I'm trying to get this off, and I'm struggling right now. If you look closely, that bolt there has been stripped and hollowed out by the last guy, and they cut a little slot into it to use a flathead screwdriver, and then they reused it. That's what amazes me, is that they reused that bolt instead of getting a new one. Now I'm paying for it. Okay, well that'll do it for day two, I guess. See you tomorrow. Okay, day three now. I got the body all uh, stripped, pretty much. Let's see, what did I say my goal is for this four day weekend? It was to get it up into the garage above the Miatas, and I can start um, whittling the two bodies away so that they fit into a mutually agreeable shape. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that goal this weekend, because it's already day three and I'm only this far, but I'm gonna try still, because 
the reason why I want to get it out of the outdoors and inside is because it's going to get really snowy again next week. And it's a really nice weekend right now. So um, now's the time to do it. So what I need to do is, I've already pulled this window out, but um, I have a engine hoist and it'll come in through this window and pick it up either by the roof or maybe I'll use some straps down there and I'll, I'll figure out a way, but um, maybe some four by four blocks, we'll see. So I need to get this window out next. And thankfully the windows are really easy to get out. These pop out windows are really easy to get out. You just unscrew this hinge and you wiggle it out and boom it just is free that's all it's all it took it was really easy so let's let's do the other one now there we go all right i've been doing a lot of head scratching right now and um this is really going to challenge my problem solving abilities because I'm just trying to think like what order do I, do I want to do things in. The, the plan today, day three, was to just get this body off the chassis but now instead I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting all this stuff out. Start cutting it out instead of unbolting it and that's all got to go anyways before I can get it on. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? If you are hoping that I know what I'm doing so that you can learn from me, I'm just learning as I'm, I'm making this up as I go, basically. And today especially. Today I'm especially making it up as I go. <sighs> okay. And I'll cut... I'll just cut this out too instead of unbolting it. Because it's all going to go anyways. And this is really cruddy in here so I might just cut it all off and cut this all out. I don't know, we'll see. Let's get the cutting. Definitely will need to add some braces and maybe even inside here as well if I, if I have a piece big enough, who knows. Check this out, these are the new braces. I just installed them and I added more than I thought I would. And I'm almost out of daylight here so I just want to show it to you real fast. But uh, thinking about even being able to lift it from this spot here, I don't know if that angle iron can support the weight, it might be about at least at least 500 pounds they say that one of these is 800 pounds but they don't cut off as much as i'm going to cut off <laughs> so i have all the braces in there and i'll definitely use that to lift up the body that's where uh the engine hoist will grab from and that's it for day three tomorrow is the big day that's day four so it'll all go down tomorrow i'm looking forward to it